Hello everybody, I almost just tripped on the airbrush compressor. I am Alice from Arms Armor and Awesome, we're AAA cosplay. My husband and I have been cosplaying for the last five years, and my very first costume had a full, well, face, neck, arms, hands, face paint, and body paint. And it was very smooth, and I did a lot of research back then, and I've learned even more. So I'm here today to present a series of videos, not just one. Um, to show you the different types of body paint that you can use for costumes and cosplay and uh, how to apply them and the pros and cons and where to get and how much and all that. So let's get started. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the probably most widely used type of face paint, body paint. It is a water base. You get a cake of makeup and you mix in water and it turns it into a liquid. This is Neron Paradise. It smells like coconut. That's <laughs> so nostalgic for me because this is the one that I used for my Janai, which was my first one. Um, Krylon Aqua Color. Um, I have a Snazaru. And Ben Nye also has one. Even MAC Makeup has one, but it's under the Pro line. They actually use it for their, for uh, Wicked, the, uh, the one on the, yeah. So water based. Uh, there are pros and cons. Uh, the pros are, I found it pretty easy to use. You only need water. Um, I suggest a spray bottle of water rather than using like from the faucet or trying to get your brush wet and then putting it in there because you're not going to get enough water with that. And the other, using the tap can be quite messy. Using brushes. You want to use nylon brushes or these are the ones that I like to use at least. Um, gold or white nylon, they're the same quality. I like to get um, wide ones because it covers a lot of areas, especially on your face and body, but I also have different sizes. Um, another way that you can apply uh, water-based is with a makeup sponge. You gotta make sure to soak the sponge in water first, wring it out until it's just damp, that way it doesn't soak up all of your makeup. I personally don't like this method, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway in the next video. Third way, you can actually mix up a, an amount of this makeup with water until you get enough to put into an airbrush uh, mixer applicator um, and then spray brush that on and I will show that in the next video as well. Now as far as prices, these are pretty good. Um, the Mehron I got at on the Mehron site for $13. Uh, there's a variety of colors. They also have an Interferens, which is a very shiny style, which depending on your costume, you may or may not want. Krylon, you can get it several different places. I found it for $13.50. If I break it, at Friends, F-R-E-N-D-S Beauty. Um, ben Nye, I don't have any. I haven't ever personally used it, but I've only heard great things about it. $12 for about the same size. Now, Snazaru. Uh, this is basically used for, like, face painting at the fair and stuff. And I did get it for a last-minute costume two years ago, I think. I didn't really like it. It's not as good quality. It just kind of folds right out. It kind of gets all over the place. It's all over my hand now. And it just didn't mix very well. This is only good if you're in a rush. You need something right now, today. You can't wait for shipping. You can't get it anywhere else. You don't have any Halloween shops, or not Halloween shops, uh, theater shops. Because sometimes if you have theatrical shops, theatrical costume shops in your city, they will carry the Mehran or Krylon or Ben Nye water-based paint. So, you can get this at Michael's, Joann's, craft stores, whatever, for five, seven, nine dollars. But I would only suggest it in a rush. Um, cons. Like any of the paints, honestly, it takes some time. I believe with my Jordan, it took me four hours to get ready. With my uh, Witch Doctor, which I had my entire body painted, basically, it took me about six hours to get ready. But it does need a couple of coats. You need to spray um, a barrier spray in between. This is Mehran's barrier spray. You do need to set it with powder, 
but it will last. Um, with my witch doctor, I only had to touch up some parts of my hands where I was holding the staff. Excuse me, some parts of my legs where I was rubbing, rubbing against my costume, and that's it. It does need to touch up though. If you're going to wear it, I don't tend to sweat. I don't get hot and sweaty. Um, and I believe it was a pretty cool convention anyway in October. But uh, it, it, it will need touch-ups. It does take some time and patience to get the right opacity. And, you know, you want to take your time with it. Moving on, we have green makeup. I don't suggest it. I'm only telling you about it because I have it on hand and there might be questions. Um, this is good for really quick Halloween costumes. I've never had any luck with cream makeup. Um, it takes some time to apply. It rubs off really easily. It sweats off really easily. It washes off really easily. I, I don't suggest it, but I suppose if you're in a hurry, you can't find the Snazaru. You have a Halloween store. I guess this this will work if you absolutely have to have it. Uh, next. RMG, Rubber Mask Grease Paint. I have two brands. Right here I have Graftobian and I have Ben Nye. These are both about $10 each. Um, these are good if you have latex pieces such as ears. These, this isn't painted obviously. This is, actually it is. This is colored with RMG paints but it's not with uh, unnatural colors. It's with, you know, actual skin tone because it started out like that. Bit too dark for my skin and I made it match. Um, so you can get it in natural colors as well. You want to get two or three shades because if you look at your own ears, they're not all one shade. You have some red there and yeah. So I only suggest these if you're going to be using prosthetics and you need to blend it in. Um, this Personally, because it's castor oil based, it's not very comfortable on my skin. It feels very thick and greasy and it rubs off pretty easy um, if it's in a high like rubbish area like your hands. You don't want to put this stuff on your hands. Um, speaking of hands though, with the water based, you don't really want to put it on your hands either. I did put it on my hands with my dry and my witch doctor, but it will need touch ups and you don't really want to touch your costume very much because it will rub off. Next, Pax Paint. I don't have any Pax Paint to show you because I personally don't have any. I have Prosade, um, which is what you mix with uh, with acrylic paint for Pax Paint, but I don't. It expired. <laughs> um, I personally have never used it, but I do hear good things about it. It is long lasting, but it takes a long time to apply because it gets very sticky and if you're applying it on yourself you're going to have to powder a lot to make it, keep it from sticking. You don't want your arms sticking together, your arms sticking into your leg, whatever. Um, and it takes hours to take off, hours. It seems really uncomfortable for me, especially since I have really sensitive skin. Um, so I don't really bother with packs. However, um, I will put some links below with some more information of other cosplayers who have used it and have more tips on it since I don't really have that much to say. And now for my favorite lately, um, alcohol activated. Now, two years ago when I did Kerrigan, there was only one type of alcohol activated makeup and that was a palette. I have water, or not water, but alcohol in here. So I don't want to spill out, but that was the only type. I did get this for Kerrigan, as you can see, there are a lot of Kerrigan type shades. Um, they're expensive, but, um, unless you're planning on doing a full-on zombie character, whatever makeup, and you're going to be using this a lot, you don't need to spend $75 for a full palette. Real R-E-E-L FX Makeup makes, um, little pots of color. And this one is $5. This would be good, I think, for one or two applications on your face. I wouldn't get this size. I wouldn't trust this size for your entire body or your face and your arms. However, they do come in larger sizes. I believe they do come in the sizes that these come in, the, uh, the water 
based. I didn't get those, so I got the one ounce because I'm going to be mixing these for Zgara. They come in one ounce. They come all the way up to like gallon size. So if you're going to need a lot, yeah. But honestly, I think that getting two, getting two to mix um, because these are the colors that I needed, um, it works well. These are only $15 a piece, which is not bad. Um, considering a little bit goes a long way. It really does. Now, these are meant to be used with an airbrush. If you don't have an airbrush, you can brush it on in the liquid state, or you can go ahead and mix it together in a palette. Um, you can use, like obviously I have this palette, so I would mix it into this one, which is almost empty. Um, but you could use a container, you could find little color pots like this at a container store and mix it in there and then leave the lid off. What happens is the alcohol in it uh, dissolves or, you know, and it leaves it in a solid state like it is in these palettes. That's basically what they did here. They poured it in there and they let it. And as you can see, nothing is coming out on my finger. It's solid. So then you can mix it with alcohol. You need to use 99% alcohol, which is the downside, I think, the only downside to the alcohol activated makeup. It's the 99% alcohol smells terrible. If you're going to be using this on your face, get the spray. I think this was only like $15. It's the Skin Illustrator Activator, and I have no idea if this is focusing or not. But, Skin Illustrator Activator. You spray it in there just like you would with the water activated, spraying the water. You spray it, and it smells better than the 99% alcohol. Now, the smell goes away as soon as the alcohol evaporates. So, it's there for a few minutes, and I really suggest having a fan blowing, not at your face, but blowing the stuff away from your face so that you're not smelling and breathing it in, because it is, oh, it's so gross. It's not fun. It's not. But, if you're going to be using it on your face, get the activator, not the 99% alcohol because it is not fun having it around your nose and around your eyes. The activator is meant to be used on the face and around the eyes. It's supposedly used for the uh, dancing with the stars, whatever, for their makeup so that it doesn't sweat off when they're up dancing around. So, that, if airbrush. Um, this is our airbrush compressor. <laughs> we need another one. Uh, we're gonna get a smaller one to use for cons because that is extremely loud and it's large. It's heavy, it's not very good to travel with. So that's just what we have for now. But uh, you do your research. Amazon has a lot of good ones if you are determined to do airbrushing. You don't have to. Even with the alcohol activated makeup, you can use a brush. No, I. You could use the nylon brushes if you want, but I also just use some smaller, make sure you use smaller ones for around your face. Uh, I seem to have lost my other one that I was using. Here it is. These brown ones. Um, I'm not sure that they're nylon, but they're very similar in texture. These are good too, especially with the alcohol activated. So, wow. I think that's all. Yeah. So that is it for the types of paints that you can find. I will have all the information on where you can buy, find more information, all of this stuff. And with the next video, I will cover applying and I will cover different application methods. So I'll see you then.